become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. We are going to see that what are the important properties of the material that will be there uh, to support these type of loadings or to sustain uh, for such a types of uh, loading. So, to sustain various loadings, following properties are of very importance. The first is the tensile strength. When we are saying tensile strength, so let's uh, see the animation. So, what has happened? The pressure will be applied from inside surface. Uh, will be applied on the inner surface so that will uh, create a circumferential stress on the walls of that vessel so that circumferential stress is nothing but tensile in nature so it will put that vessel under tension because if because of this internal pressure vessel fails then it will burst into the pieces so the ener energy will be released outward so the, there will be a tension that will be faced by that walls of that cylinder so if you can see over here in that maroon color so there are the arrows which are coming. So these are nothing but the circumferential stresses. So these circumferential stresses are, these are nothing but the tensile circumferential stresses, which will be in tension. So tensile strength is very important uh, property of the material that will be required to sustain for the internal pressure. So along the circumference, there will be a circumference, uh, uh, tensile strength will be there. Circumferential tensile stress will be developed. Then again because of the pressure as we can see over here the pressure is uh, applying on the ends of the cylinder and because of that the vessel uh, may be uh, divided in two halves like this so what has happened there will be again a pull exerted by this pressure on the walls of the cylinder so that pull is nothing but again the tension so because of the pressure application along the cross section of the vessel along the sea seam there will be again a tensile longitudinal stress that will be there so tensile strength is very important strength of that material that will be get tested during the pressure application so whenever there is a pressure there will be the stresses developed and the important strength which will be required that will be the tensile strength to sustain for the pressure loading then the compressive strength now again compressive strength means what let's say we take one example this vessel uh, is mounted on support lug it is carrying certain fluid so that fluid is also having its weight the equipment is also carrying its own weight so all the weight is getting applied downward like this so because of this what will happen there will be heavy compressive stresses developed on the vessel wall so the compressive strength is also very important strength that a vessel must have a good compressive strength in order to uh, function as a pressure vessel so tensile strength is important equally compressive strength of the vessel is also equally important whenever the wind forces are coming like this then there are chances that the vessel may get shear off so it must be having some good shear strength so apart from tensile and compressive strength shear strength is also very very important so this shear strength as we can see over here because of the wind load there will be shear stress developed at the cross section and that cross section must be having or that material must be having enough shear strength then bending strength whenever some loadings are applied like this wind load is coming then what will happen uh, there will be, uh, there will be a deformation there will be a bending of that column will happen that bending is nothing but the the cause effect uh, the cause of that loading because of that loading the bending will happen but the vessel should be able to regain its original position and it should have the enough strength to take care of such a loading so that bending strength is also equally important shear strength bending strength these are all the strengths which are expressed in terms of yield strength values so in a way yield strength is very important and bending and shear strength are usually expressed as shear strength as 40 percent that is 0.4 times of yield strength and bending as 0.66 times of Yield strength. Then the next very important property which will be used uh, in the designing of pressure vessel or that pressure vessel material must be having that quality is the toughness. What do you mean by toughness? The toughness is nothing but the ability of that material to withstand shock. 
so as we have seen that whenever such a fluid flow is coming and giving impact on the wall uh, then what will happen because of this shock or because of this uh, impact the material should be able to uh, should not fail or if there is a brittle material th then it will suddenly fail so this toughness is also very important so that toughness property is to ability to absorb the shock